What's up, friends? Welcome to the game Still Wakes the Deep. 1975, disaster strikes the Barra the Barra D oil rig off the coast of Scotland. Navigate the collapsing rig to save your crew from an otherworldly horror on the edge of all logic and reality. This was a pretty interesting game. I, I loved how the game looks. I mean, I think there's some aspects of the game where it's, you know, very beautiful with all the colors and stuff like that. This is one of those games where if you've always wanted to, now I know they're not all the same, but this is one of those games where if you've always wanted to get an idea to experience what it would be like to be in a, you know, in the middle of nowhere out in the sea oil rig, this would be like probably one of the best games to play. Now, I'm not sure if there's anything similar like that gaming wise, like, you know, dealing with oil rigs or anything like that. If there are, I mean, please let me know in the comment section or if you think um, none of those fare the same as this game. You know, please let that please, uh, you know, leave a comment in the comment section. So, again, you're in a, in an oil rig out in the middle of the ocean. And so if you have this, this game will test any phobias that you have of whether it's being a fear of being stranded out in the middle of water with no land nearby in sight. There's also the fact of the fear of heights. I mean, there's a lot of scenes where you're up high and, you know, I, I know some people for it's just a game, but if it's one you're one of those types of people where even in a game it can cause you like panic attacks or feel you to get you to make you to feel uneasy. This game will definitely um, test those phobias, especially the part in the combination of, of heights and being stuck out in the middle of nowhere. You know, there are certain areas where like on the bottom of the rig that's still exposed to the outside elements where you're just, you know, running around on the rafters. You know, if you're if you have a fear of heights. Or if you're like clumsy or if you have bad luck like how I do from time to time, you know, knowing your luck, something might snap or break and you go tumbling down into the water. And, and you know, if no one knows where you're at or they have no idea, you're kind of uh, screwed. So, yeah, uh, uh, there's uh, yeah a lot of stuff that uh, gets in that a lot of phobias. I'm pretty sure there's other phobias, too that are involved that some people might have that this game can present. So if you really enjoy this video, please leave me a like. Can please consider subscribing and hit that notification button so you can stay up to date whenever I upload a new vi video. And if you dislike the video, as always, you can hit that dislike button or if, or if you're just here just to watch and you don't you know care about supporting, you know, you do you. You're a free human being. And if you like any more of my content, I hope you uh, feel free to go to my channel and check out what else I have. Other without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the game. And like always, I'll try to refrain from talking during the dialogues. I still can't even believe you went. What are you thinking? Going to that place. Wish you hadn't got yourself into this mess, but you did. And you can't run forever. I know you were just trying to do right by me, so I need you to do what's right by us now. Please, Cars. I am so tired of fighting. I just want it to be over. I want you home. The girls want you home, but... If you don't deal with this, then we are done for good. I love you. But I won't wait forever. Sus. Jesus, Sus. Girls need your Christmas card. <laughs> I'll be there in a minute, Trots. Aye, well, don't wait too long or someone will be up with you. Aye. Yeah, all right. Oh, so... Were we a bo boxer at one point in time, or is this someone else that we uh, idolized? <laughs> Merry fucking Christmas indeed. Are there, like, any nudies around? Oh, hold on. Examine. Uh, sorry, girls. Well, put it this way. You're trying to make money to support your family. Fuck your wife. 
sometimes bitches don't understand. You're trying to make a living, and they make it. They make you out to be the bad guy. Let's see. Okay, so it's basically just uh, the letter that we just read out loud to ourselves. Not sure how much a job like this pays, but I mean, obviously, if I was younger and single, I would probably do something like this, especially if it pays well. I mean, yeah, there's also risk involved, but like I was telling Ito, I would love to do that Alaskan crab fishing stuff. I mean, hell, you work six months out of the year and you get a fucking ridiculous paycheck and you get the fuck off the rest of the six months until the season starts again? Hell yeah! Aye, quite right, Tross. Ah, the Nesowu Memo. Two, Kadal Management and Bo, CEO, Mr. D. Renick, Installation Manager, Biria, Biria D. Like I said, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, we'll just get to the actual part. Dear sirs, North Sea Oil Workers Union of Aberdeen branch gives notice under the provisions of the Trade Union and Labor Relations Act 1974 of our intention to take industrial action. This is due to your abject failure to meet with our representatives to discuss genuine safety grievances from our members. We urge you to engage with us and, uh, and resolve our valid dispute. Ends. So how you been doing there, uh, Mr. Mario? Glasgow Gazette. Linwood told to accept deal or else. Three twerk... Oh, three travelers. Uh, twerkers. Three travelers chase Icelandic gunboat. UK in row with France. I mean, I know there's an achievement if you talk to everyone in the beginning, but I wonder if there's an achievement for uh, examining everything, too. Okay, that was weird how the door didn't open all the way at first. That's locked. Anything to examine over here? That's locked. A hey, night shift, Kelly Douglas, 109. Oh yeah, how are you liking the uh, Callisto protocol so far? I need to actually start that too myself. Stay in this place. Yep, this room's uh, going to shit, leaking all over the place. That's a health code, major health code violation right there. But then again, this is overseas, so they probably uh. They probably have shittier health code standards, maybe. Davey must have gone back on shore last night. No more ciggies? Locked door. Oh yeah, you going to uh, Guatemala again? Right, Kaz. I'm all right. What are you doing up there? Pipes leaking. If it's not one thing, it's the other. See this old rig? It's a pile of shite. It's falling apart. And we've only just started drilling. Fucking Kadal. And fucking Rennick cutting corners. Aye. Speaking of, you are in the shite, wee man. Rennick got a letter this morning from the mainland and he's been up to high dough ever since. Heard he's gunning for you. Well, that's just brilliant. Christ, I need a smoke. Can't find my lighter anywhere. Take mine. I don't need it anymore, honestly. You're a fucking lifesaver. I'm going to get breakfast. All right. I'll see you for darts tonight. We'll put a wee picture of Rennick up on the board for you. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. See ya. See, why can't there ever be any hot chicks that want to do stuff like that? Why does it always have to be like the fat, fugly ones? I mean, no, nothing against them, but I'm just saying. Why can't there ever be any hot bitches that want to be, like, fucking turning wrenches and stuff like that? I mean, they're used to turning things in the bedroom. Why can't they just turn things on the outside on a professional level, too? All right, here comes the naked man. Not sure if uh, showing man ass goes against YouTube's guidelines, but I don't think it should because it's not like you're seeing his fucking cock or anything like that. So, so if I get a, uh, a hit on YouTube, then uh, whatever. We'll see what happens when I post this later on on YouTube. But the, okay, let's see. All right, so there's where she is. So let's see if there's anything around over here. I mean, it's just some man ass. 
Because <laughs> life's not a porno. A porno, I think you meant to say there, Brian. Hey man, being on an oil rig is like being on prison. If they're not, if do, if it ain't dudes fucking each other, then yes, I can see that they're probably uh, dicking down large Marge right there. Because I mean, why not? If she's the only pussy available on the board, on the rig. Examine. Doesn't he surprise me, prick? Put the Britons first. Stop immigration. Reject common market. Restore capital punishment. Make Britain great again. Scrap overseas aid. Rebuild our armed forces. Vote National Front. Gee, just reading the make Britain great again part would probably uh, ruffle some feathers if uh, if uh, my brother-in-law's brother was in this chat. Or who knows, it might, it might secretly ruffle uh, terrible terrorist feathers. Who knows? Because it's close to similar to something else. <laughs> All right, let's see. Can we go down any of these ways before we go down that walkway? Because I'm not sure oh, if that... this is cozy. Not sure if that walkway is where we need to go. I just want to make sure we're not missing anything of slight importance. <laughs> Tight bastards. Memorandum. To all staff of Berdeen, to all staff offshore, due to late delivery of Vera Field and ongoing strike action, the board has determined that no Christmas bonus will be made for the financial year 1975-1976. Merry Christmas, Bernard Cunningham, Chairman. Well, fuck you too, buddy. Cheap son of a bitch. Alright, so now let's go ahead and go outside. Why does it feel like our character has a little bit of a waddle when he runs? Objective. Go down to the canteen. Alright, so that's the canteen. So let's see... Nope, can't go there. Alright. Down we go to the canteen. I'm guessing... Press again to receive a hint. Oh. Never mind. So I'm guessing the canteen is their way of their the cafeteria. Oh, let me see. You are here, I'm assuming. Crew lounge, lockers, exit to deck, galley, canteen, pantry. So let's see what's this way really quick. If we can go this way. Something stop. Oh, help stop skin disease. At first, I thought it said like herpes or something. <laughs> the herps. All right. I know there's something on the table, but let's just see what's around here really quick. That's locked. All right. Let's see what you say. Darts tournament. All right. So it looked like Finley and Brody are in the final. Okay, so we don't have a flashlight yet. I still think it's funny how overseas they call a flashlight a torch. I hear whistling. Someone's whistling Dixie. Alright, let's go see what else. Christmas. Ah. Like everyone else saying, where's Ido with all the Christmas stuff? They're talking about Christmas there, Ido. Canteen. That's blocked. All right, now let's talk to every swinging dick here really quick. Look, there's no escaping. There's going to be a dozen mayor rigs up here by the end of next year because the pricks in Westminster want their grubby wee hands on Scotland's oh, oil. Christ, none this again. The bear is already down to the bare bones, and Cadal are just going to make more cuts to get other rigs on the go. If we don't take industrial action soon, oh, this place... Oh, come on. 
If we don't take industrial action soon, this place will be even more of a death trap than it already is. He's got a point though, Gibbo. We're down to a skeleton crew in the pontoons and it's ropey as fuck down there. Workers of the world unite! What do you think, Kaz? <sighs> I don't know. Just here it affects the lecky. <laughs> What do you think will be keeping the lights on if this place falls apart? That's coal, you numpty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's just pronounced Beeras. Oh, Beeras. Beeras. Oh, Beeras, probably. Alright. Like I said, I butchered the fuck out, probably, but who gives a shit? Alright, you guys got anything to say? How you doing, boys? No bad, Kaz. Raf's here's a bit shaky, though. Going to be the lad's first solo dive this morning. Is that right? Ah, you'll be all right, pal. Especially with the big man here looking out for you. Have you done it before? Christ, no. I'll stick to the lecky, thanks. No great in tight spaces, and it's blowing a gale out there. Really filling the lad with confidence there, Cass. Ah, sorry, wee man. Don't worry about it. Brody's got you. Wouldn't that be a good thing for you there, uh, Patrick? Wouldn't lazy be a good thing? Because at least then, less tendencies of him fucking shit up. Then we can just blame it all on Ghost. And evict Ghost eventually. Enjoying your last day, McCleary. What's that supposed to mean? You've been a naughty boy from what I've heard. Ah, give peace. You're not exactly an angel yourself, I dare. I'll be fine. Well, you'll not be missed. You wouldn't know a day's graft if it slapped you in the face. <laughs> I'd like to see you try and do my job. You wouldn't know a spark plug from a fucking hairdryer. <laughs> <laughs> Watch your mouth, McCleary. I'd be like, what are you gonna do about it, you fat, f fat, bald fuck? You ain't gonna do nothing. We're not on duty. I'll fucking kick your ass right now in front of everybody. Uh, did these guys got anything to say? Hey, Freeze is the definition of a house cat. What do you expect? It's not my fault that your little ghosty ghost wants to, uh, has made numerous attempts to run out to go outside and got his head crushed once by me in the doorway and almost got his head crushed by you. You all right, Roy? Cosmo Mocha. I do. Sweet sound of Davy Rennick. You think it's the Paulus? Can't be surprised, Kaz. We hear from Suze. She's talking about divorce. Oh, I'm sorry, Kaz. She'll come around. Not if I get the jail she won't. Well, maybe you could have considered that while you were battering Billy Chamberlain's head in. Cunt slagged off Suze. He had it coming. And there he is. Floats like a butterfly, stings like a bee, and swears like the devil himself. Listen, mate, even if it is the Paulus, maybe it's best to just go back and face it. Yeah? Ugh, I don't know, Roy. I'm fucking scun up with the whole thing. The Lord loves you, mate, no matter what. And I'm pretty sure Sue's does too. That's all clear for you now, Roy. Lovely job, thanks, Dobby. Oh, Dobby. Dad says he's left your insulin in your cabin. Oh, bless his little communist socks. Muchly appreciated. Ta. Remember, life is like football. It's not over until the final whistle. Aye. You're a Barnsley fan, so you're pretty much fucked from the off, right? Oh, I will see you hand for that, McCleary. Off you trot, lad, before his nibs blows a gasket. Oh, so I say Dobby has grown to be a real boy. He is no longer Dobby the Elf. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, what's up there, Ito? And notice how Ito said the soulless prison. He didn't say the Reyes prison, so what are you guys doing to the cats behind closed doors? All right. Why the fuck are you calling me? Okay, she just hung up. Or maybe that was. She's probably gonna say, "Oh, that was uh, that was Lily that tried to call you." Man, I hope there's some leftovers. Never mind. Crystal, can you do me a favor and call her and see if it's important? If it's not, tell her she can wait. Christmas Day menu starters: Colin, Colin skink, Scotch broth, Maine, roast turkey, haggis. Neeps and tatties, Brussels sprouts, carrots, pigs and w with blankets, black pud, if I, if I, that's pud, gravy bread sauce, popping, Christmas pud and brandy sauce, Kranakan, 
Perkins. Alright, I'm assuming there's probably more people to talk to. Thanks. She knows I'm fucking streaming. I don't know why. Oh, never mind. She said it was Lily, so ignore that, Crystal. She just texted said, Lily called you. Alright, so let's not leave just yet. Unless there was someone in particular that I missed to talk to, but let's see. Let me take a quick glance really quick. So I already talked to those guys, that guy, the bald fuck. And yeah. Or I believe I talked to all three groups. Let me just double check really quick. Actually, hold on. See if there's anyone over here. Wet room. Oh, from your watch. Well, I guess that makes sense since the watch can dial out. All right, let me see. Did I talk to these guys? Let me double check. Yeah, I did, because there's no... Okay, so I'm guessing there's probably more people that I have to talk to outside then in order to get that achievement, unless I already fucked up and missed somebody. Fast food? You went on a uh, fast food eating binge there, Mr. Ito? Damn, a third trip? Fucking f Found house! <coughs> Alright. Hey, it looks just like how I imagined. Shit. Alright. I guess they can call this... I guess you can call this oil rig simulator. Alright, let's see what this guy has to say. I'm alright to get by, pal. It's alright. You have to go around, Kaz. Alrighty. Yeah, why does it seem like he waddles when he runs? Oh, you gotta hold it? Oh, okay. Well, I guess that makes it somewhat realistic then by actually holding the mouse button instead of just grabbing and go. Isn't that what happened to you there, Brian, one time? On one of the scenes when you had to jump and hold on to something, you probably let go of the mouse button and you fell, fell off to your death, right? Alright, let me see. Where? I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything, so I'm just trying to make sure which way would be the right way to go. Because I'm assuming that ladder takes you down to the same area, just on the other side. What? Why does it seem like he kind of crouches down to run, like he's doing like a roadie run, like in Gears? And he runs kind of slow too. This guy like, this guy got like bad hips or something? <laughs> right, so before we go down there, okay, we can only go down there. Nothing like a good old oil rig simulator that has fucked up moments. Right, let me see. Need a hand there, fellas. A cleaning. No, I can scale up in this hero by myself. <laughs> no, what are they? Cheers, though. Fair enough. You want to transfer here, McCleary? 
you'd give me less lip. No. He loves it. Clear it. My office. I don't make me ask again. In a better mood today, is he? You'll be all right, guys. You get used to it. We all get a turn. Try not to punch him. <laughs> no promises. And don't make me ask again. Fuck you, motherfucker. All you do is sit in your cozy little office. I'm the one who's probably out here busting my fucking ass. You got choppy today. Exposed to elements, fucking probably getting sick 24-7. You can suck a fucking cock and wait on me, motherfucker. Alright. Let's see. Give me a minute to check. So I'm assuming we're supposed to go that way, so let's see what's up here really quick. Those guys are just chatting. Oh. Okay, so it's locked. <laughs> took me took long enough to actually let me open the damn door when it kept popping up saying, open, open, open. Not even like it's a steep decline. All right, Roper, what's the problem? We'll usually see you down here. Ah, drills acting up this morning. Got the crew running around like blue ass flies, but they kind of make head or tail of it. Is that you's behind schedule then? Oh, not yet. And uh, not if the gods are smiling on us. So mere fuck than ever. Poor as fucked as you by the sounds of it. Look, you better get up there. The boss man sounds raging. The bossman sounds oh, ragey. Alright, so can't talk to these guys. What about these guys? Can I talk to you fuckers? No. There's probably nothing up there, but let's... Didn't I see no to make me ask again, McCleary? My office down! Shut the fuck up. You ain't doing nothing anyways, except for sitting at your desk playing with your dick. <gasps> Stay on the path, mate. A cargo hoist will crush you if you get close. More people to talk to before. Jesus, Scooby! Give me a heart attack. Scooby, oh, sorry, mate. Can I ask a wee favour? Where do you need Scoob? Oh, could you do me a quick fix on the crew lift fuse box while you're down there? I need bother. Oh, you're a lifesaver, mate. And don't let the big man get you down, all right? Thanks, pal. Scooby Dooby Doo. Press to interact with objects. Take the crew lift up to Rennick's office. Alright, I'm guessing I must have missed somebody unless there's still more people along the way. Cameron, 
camera in, huh? I know they say you should never keep your boss waiting, but if your boss is a piece of shit and you know he's probably gonna, you probably know that he's probably gonna get fired, then fuck him. Make him wait all day. So that's closed, or locked, I should say. So that's probably his office up there. Let's see what's down here. We go here. Nope. All right. I'm guessing I must have missed somebody somewhere to get that achievement for talking to everyone. Oh well. Unless talking to this asshole is part of it, but I highly doubt it. Well, here they fucking go. Enter. Really? I would've ah, just busted Mr. in there. McClay. Fuck that guy. So glad you could join me, and sorry to have got you out of bed. Shut the door and have a seat. No, I'm fine, Stan. Sit your ass in that chair, you fucking liability. But I don't... I run a tight ship. Do you understand me? A tight ship. Technically, it's no ship. Shut your gub, you Ned prick! I am sick, sick to fucking bookin' of you wee gobsites messing with my operation. That chef might be a mate of yours, but he does not run things around here. I do. Do you understand me? All right, why don't you just get on with it? Don't you answer me back! <laughs> you might be the height of shite on shore, McClary, but out here, I am the fucking king. Do you understand me? You bring the police to my door, to my rig. Uh, I, I can sort this, right? I just need time. Shut it, you clatty gobshite. I've got here's a mama who can make a more positive contribution to this operation than you. Look, I know Shut it! I'm in a meeting. What? For fuck's sake, Gibbo, I don't care. We're on a schedule. Schedule. It's a fucking drill. You've got a fucking drill, so drill through it. Yeah, well, Roper's a whiny old fud. He's got a problem with everything. I don't care if it feels off. Just fucking do it! And I'll come down there myself. Is that uh, trouble with the missus? You're fired. <laughs> you hear me? Fired. Uh, come on, man. That's only a wee bit of trouble with the polish. I'm good with the lecky. I keep things running. You said it yourself. Ouch! Get off my rig! Aye. Happy New Year to you too, you cunt. Somebody needs to get laid. What a prick. Don't you answer me back! As that's the international saying, Don't think that's me! Alright, let's see. Where the fuck do we go now? Heladeck, evacuation route. All right, let's go ahead and get ready to think we're gonna go home, but then it never works out the way how you want it to. Let me see if there's anything else around here. I must have missed somebody to talk to. So I guess I'll have to do it in the next run to get that talk to everyone in the beginning achievement. Jesus, Gregor! That's a long ass die. fucking fall. Jesus, just hang on. Yep. There he goes. Fuck. Fuck. Ah. Oh shit. Ah. 
Oh, did it? I don't know. Usually the usually the. Christ, but you're a right pair. Two bars and a ball bag. Now listen, Pat. I promise I'll take care of him. I had a word with our Kieran. You remember him? He knows Billy Chamberlain from way back. He owes me a favor. Reckons you can sweeten Billy up a bit. Come on. Have I ever let you down? Right, you lost the cake at the wedding. N now then, now then, that, that wasn't my fault. You left it on a bench at Argyle Street. Aye, you were that bloated you didn't even remember baking the cunt. Oh, my children, that was before the light of the Lord came to me. Here we fucking go. Uh, and you, Mr. McCleary, you can fuss and cuss all you like. But perhaps if you went to the Saracens a little less and the Tabernacle a little more, then perhaps you'd not be in this pickle, eh? Don't, don't look at me. You're the one who decided to spend the next four months trapped on our egg with this bampot. Susan, I promise you, I promise you, we will get this straightened out. I will. You'd better. Usually Xbox apps usually pop up on from my computer, but I could be wrong. Maybe it could be on the app. Guys! Christ, Cheeseburger, huh? There, uh, you know, gold. from where? Shit, guys! Get his leg! We can't leave him out here! Move! Fuck! Cass! I think he's deep! Uh. We've got you, man, all right? We've got you! He's breathing, thank Christ. Kaz, come on. Wake up, Kaz. Why is he not waking up? Can you hear me? Is he going to die, Brody? <coughs> Kaz? Can't go wrong with a uh, barbecue western burger at Carl's Jr. there, Ito. Or the uh, oh, the uh, bacon ultimate cheeseburger at Jack in the Box. Arby's. What's up with you and Arby's there, Brian? You're starting to sound like... Uh, you're starting to sound like uh, David Putty in Seinfeld. Next thing you know it, you're going you're gonna to be like... You're gonna have like a, a new girl with you, and then she's gonna be like, "Yeah, my boyfriend's gonna take me too." And then Brian's gonna be like, "Arby's." <laughs> I, I need your help here. I tried Arby's once, and I thought it was all right. I don't think it was like the greatest. I mean, I it was all right. I wouldn't say it's the greatest. All right, let's uh, see what we can do here. I'm sorry, Kaz. I know you're not all right yet, but I need your help. The stairs will take you down to the brick. I would have been like, I just been fired, motherfucker. You do it your fucking self. McLeary, thank Christ. You are right being up on your feet? My heat's killing me, but... Christ. Aye, aye, I think so. You got me out. Did you get Gregor? I got you, aye. I couldn't find Gregor. Fuck. I'm sorry, Kaz. Oh, Jesus. He's not the only one we lost. No, no, no. Ras is still in there. Why aren't these working? Kaz, I need you to help me. Kaz! What? Right, aye, what, what do you need? The cable's stuck. Go down and release the main brake, then come back up and raise the bell. If you can get it to my level, I think I can get him out. Aye. Raffs, it's all right, we're getting you out. We'll be two minutes, pal. So some poor bastard is stuck in that dive bell, huh? And I take it, letting him out is what's gonna unleash or whatever this parasite or wherever the fuck this thing is that that causing people to turn and all these growth spur spores to happen in this game or whatever I know when I was watching IGP play this I did I just know he was kept saying there has to be some Cthulhu shit going on with this game I mean come on you're out in the middle of the fucking water it has to be Cthulhu uh, right. Dive bell operating procedures. In the event of a power failure or winch snagging, the winch brake will automatically engage. The winch brake must be disengaged at the power restored or the obstruction removed. Step 1. Disengage winch brake at lower level. Operate winch control on upper level. Danger. Maximum 3 tons. So we gotta disengage at the lower level. 
Oh, shit. Getting windy all of a sudden. Shit's about to go down. Yeah, I know. It would suck to be claustrophobic. What's going on, Brody? What happened? Don't know. The drill hit something. An air pocket or gas explosion. Nobody knows. But whatever it was, it was big. You were lucky. Trust me. Douglas is trying to find out Mayor. Like if the bear is even safe now. The better. What's wrong with rafts? I don't know, all right? Decompression shouldn't have been as bad. Oh, I shouldn't have let him go down there. I said I'd look after him. I'm here, rafts. It's pro day. I'm going to get you out. Uh, is there anything me and I can do? No, I'll get him. We need to know what's going on up top. You'll need to go through engineering. The way up is blocked from here. Where's engineering for here? I've never been doing this end before. The only way you'll get there is to go under the rig. Should be a clearer path down there. All right, I'll head down now. You know that dude's gotta be fucking infected or something. He's probably gonna be patient zero for whatever that is gonna happen. parkouring or not yet okay, let's see go back up oh now it's all of a sudden unlocked that makes sense Why does he even flail? Why does he even flail his arms when he's running too? That's fucking hilarious. That's locked. Let me get this one open. No chance. Christ. Entering under rig. Examine. You are here. Leg A, leg D, leg C, leg B, drill, flare stack. Yep, that's exactly right there, uh, Jeremy. This is definitely one of those very peaceful games where nothing horrible can actually happen. All right, so that's locked. Oh, hey, look, I made my jump, Brian, and I'm using a keyboard and mouse. Not sure if that was the spot where you actually jumped sideways to your death. <laughs> ah. Ow. Kind of whip out at me and 
touch my no-no spot, is it? <sighs> All right, a little bit of a balancing act now. Jesus. Don't look down. Trick. Don't look down. I'm looking down. Oh, oh shit. Ah. Oh shit. Shrek, I'm looking down. <laughs> All right. I actually thought that the swinging cables or whatever was gonna kind of like knock him over or try to knock him over. Oh yeah, sure. There's no penetrating tentacles there. Said no one ever for in this game there. Uh, Soul Scribbler. Be too close. I mean, we could just man up and walk through it, but I think I prefer to get by without there to be burned. Now, if I was on an oil rig, I'm not really afraid of heights, but an area like rafters like this, this would fucking worry the fuck out of me. Only because of the fact that, no my luck, one of these motherfucking things are going to break, and I'm going to go crashing down in the water, and no one's going to fucking know, and then I'm going to fucking die of either hypothermia, or, if I'm lucky, something will fucking kill me down there and make it quick. Right. I'm gonna end up in the fucking sea again. <laughs> yeah, we wouldn't want that. Okay. All right. <laughs> Don't want to pull the terrible terrors and fall off and die. Shit. Christ! Too close. Yeah, but imagine that view. Well, I mean, don't get me wrong. Depending on what part of the ocean you're at, I mean, it might look fucking beautiful, but at the same time, like I said, knowing my luck, one of these rafters fucking break, and I plummet down, and no one knows. Or... Oh, fucking hell. <sighs> or, no one, or knowing my luck... Something happens and some asshole bumps me. Hopefully, if I'm lucky, I take them cocksuckers with me too, because I'm gonna die. Someone else is gonna die with me as well. All right, so we are practicing for American Ninja Warrior. All right. And don't get me wrong there, Brian. I'm pretty sure if I didn't watch you die in this area, I probably would have did the same thing where I would have been like, oh, I'll just hold on to the, the left mouse button to get a grip and then let go of the right one, not knowing that I'm still supposed to be holding on to it so I don't plummet to my death. Let me see if there's anything over here really quick. I'm not sure if this game has collectibles or not, but let's just see if there's anything down here of importance. Oh, Patrick said that too? <laughs> Alright, so I guess just... Just a little part where you can just explore so there's nothing really significant or important. Why does he flail his arms when he fucking runs? Alright, so... Okay, yeah. Exit to engineering. The Capsule Core logo.
entering Leg C. Or Leg Charlie if you're using the phonetic alphabet. What is that? Well, you definitely sh uh, should not have. If you have a. Look. There's been a minor drill issue, so for the time being, we are suspending drilling operations until it's fixed. Stand by for further information. This is a temporary drill issue. Drill issue? Jesus Christ. Well, if you want to work on an oil rig, you definitely cannot be claustrophobic or afraid of heights. Especially if you got to work in, like, areas like that, that look like that. Going down, descending into the darkness. here no okay I'm guessing this game probably doesn't have um, collectibles or anything like that to look for I do like that that purple is kind of nice no tentacles reach out to whack me off of this now So, for the people that have finished this game, Crystal and Brian, no spoilers, but do they actually eventually talk about what this growth is, or is it just one of those things that's just there? Oh, hold on. Oh. Oh, so that you really get no no information on what the hell this thing is or what's even happening. That kind of sucks, but I know some games are kind of like that, though. I guess it's one of those things where they just want to leave it to your Finally, your imagination. Useful. Yeah, that's what IGP said too when I was watching him kind of uh, skim through this. He thinks it's a uh, he thinks it's Cthulhu since it's out in the water. Nothing over there. Okay. And then from what I've seen here and there, it seems like this game is more story driven than um than anything else for like I know there's I know there's a uh, like monster encounters but I'm guessing the the encounters aren't aren't that big or in depth in this game something sounds angry going there because I'm assuming that's where we need to go yep locked all right let's uh start crawling through some vents and shit the marker okay crystal now that hold on let me back up real quick 
Now that would have been a nice little jump scare. Like if you walked by, crawled by, looking through that way and just saw something skim across, that would have been a nice for a little jump scare. I'm surprised they didn't do something like that for this. Speaking of the marker, when are you going to finish Dead Space Crystal? Like Brian always says. Jesus. Finish Dead Space Crystal. I mean, hell, just have either me or Patrick get past that one part for you, unless you already set yourself up for failure to the point where you have very low ammo and health, and you're just F-U-C-K'd regardless. <laughs> I'm just reiterating what everyone else is thinking. Get your ass back on Dead Space and fucking finish it, since I know you've been looking forward to it since its fucking release. Psst. Clear it. Guys, over here. Oh, Jesus, Finley. You all right? You look like you've seen a ghost. Who's making that noise? Gibble. He's making that racket. We should be no find him. Help him. No. Oh, I'm gonna recommend that. What does that mean? It means he's no all right. <laughs> After that explosion, they got oil or some shit on him and just... I don't know. He freaked out. Went for me. He's still out there. You mean out here? As in out here with me? Aye. That's exactly what I mean. Oh, that's just fucking brilliant. You seen anyone else? I just go here. Where are you going anyway? Back to accommodation. Listen, you'll have to get through the water tanks to get up to accommodation. And quietly. Like. Go all the way up there? Jesus. And what about Gibble? Stay the fuck away from him. You're listening to me. It's no right, cuz. I'm no arguing. Cuz. Be fucking careful, eh? Aye. You know. Alrighty. So, are we gonna do our first monster encounter or not yet? Let's see what happens. This guy looks really nice. Uh, and like, uh, I'm pretty sure just like my cousin said uh, the other day, for a game that, what do they want, like 35, 40 for this? I, I'm not sure if that's still worth the price for a game that's only like four to six hours long. But I mean, to each their own. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's also a lot of talent behind this game too. which could explain the price, the asking price point for this game. All right, so before we go down to where it says exit, can we open this? Stuck nope. fast. Stuck fast. Giggity. Ah. Ah. Right, nothing over there. Anything in here? Oh, no, nope, nine. Thought that it might have been an open barrel or something. I assume that was supposed to be a cheap jump scare because. And that one too. So. Let's go up real quick. Okay, so I guess there's nothing here, unless I need to backtrack to this. Pick up. Throw... Oh, okay, so we are probably going to do a little... Um... Oops. So maybe we might have a monster encounter. Almost kind of sounded like a... Alien hissing in the distance at first. All right, close this bitch up. The wrong way. Yeah, I mean that's true, Jeremy. There are a lot of um, games that are 65 bucks that are less than 10 to 12 hours. I think it all just depends on the developer and how much they put into the game and stuff like that as well. So, and 
kind of. But I mean, what did what did uh, Brian say? I think the only thing that you don't get in the Game Pass version is like like the DLSS for feature for Nvidia and probably whatever the True FX or whatever it is for AMD cards. But other than that, I don't think that's really I don't think you're really missing out on much because if I remember correctly, like and even Briggs said the same thing. Unless you have a unless you have a lower end. Uh, NVIDIA card. You're not really missing much, because if I remember correctly, I think the whole purpose of DLSS is to enhance the enhance the overall picture quality um, without you uh, without using more um, graphics card memory than necessary. Versus where if you don't use it, then an enhancing will utilize more uh, more graphics memory. Let me see. Am I gonna have to crawl through this? All right, there's a, before we do that, see. Nope, okay. Let's go up this bitch. All right, that's what, that's what it is for AMD FSR. But yeah, other than that, unless you have a lower, a low end graphics card, you're not really missing out, I mean. I mean, technically, I, I, there's, I shouldn't even really have to mess with DLSS since I got a uh, 4090, but I just turn it on anyways, just since if there is, just in case there might be any kind of a different enhancement features. <sighs> but I usually set it to uh, quality over performance. When I had my 2080 Ti, I would have to put performance over quality with DLSS, even though it was a... 11 gig graphics card, but because of the fact that I'm trying to do 4K, um, it, uh, the, the uh, performance would be better instead of uh, quality. Whereas, in for the my 4090 that I have, I can use quality and and won't even really experience any kind of um, lag or anything like that from the graphics card. Let's see. No, do not the fuck is that? Okay. So I guess now we're gonna do the cat and mouse stuff. Let me see. The things locked. Cat and mouse, uh, uh, running around stuff. Now, not sure. Christ. I'm staying back, okay? Not sure if this thing can see light or not. So we'll try and see if we can uh, traverse in the darkness first. Oh, the little darkness we have. What's that around my screen? Is that kind of... Is 
he slowly turning into a monster or something? Is that the reason why he's saying he doesn't want us to look at him? But what's that shit around the screen? Is that just kind of indicating where the monster's at or what? That's what's kind of confusing me, like that shit that's going around my screen. Does that mean that that's just showing me the low, kind of hinting me the location of where the monster is or what? going through the change. It's cool, bro. It's cool. I'm just going about my way. You go ahead and stay where you are, and I will not fuck with you. I mean, yeah, you're probably turning into a hideous monster. You don't want uh, people to point and laugh at you, so I respect that. So I will leave you to whatever personal problems you're having right now. Uh, oh, there we go. I was saying, why won't it let me open it? All right, let me see. Uh, it's not... Do, 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 do. Yeah, like the monster is close. Oh, okay, so that's what that means. Stay away. It's cool, bro. It's cool. We all have our problems. It's okay, bro. We all have our problems. You, do? you settle yours with anger, I will settle mine by drinking myself to death. As soon as I can find myself a bar. No! Douglas! Douglas! Jesus! No! You can't be! Close that? Oh, never mind. Oh, what the hell? What a Paul, what are you apologizing for, dude? You did nothing wrong. You're just, you're just, you know, having a bad day. That's all. We all have one. Let's see. Is there a difference between? Let me see. What? Let's see if there's anything up here that might be important. I highly doubt it. Oh, so we could have just. Oh, never mind. I could just jumped over and wasn't even paying attention. I actually thought the way how it looked like we were just walk stepping into the water. I didn't realize the guy fucking fell over. Exit to ACOM, water tanks, level one. <laughs> It's cool there, buddy. I oh. can't get this one open. No chance. Can't go in there either. Alright, that's 
stairway's broken. Sure, Jesus. sure. You'll be home soon, bro. You'll be home. Don't worry. Exit to accommodation. Let me see. Uh... Alrighty. Next area. Entering accommodation. I need to get warm. Jesus. God, you stop. Shit. Fuck. God, stop thinking about it. Just stop thinking about it. Jesus. Jesus. Right. Right. Search accommodation for survivors. Alright, so let's go ahead and warm our nuts up real quick. Yeah! Alright. Time to warm the hiney. Oh, yeah. Alright, here we go. Is anyone here? Hello? If there's anybody here, fucking say something! So the phone's ringing that way, so let's check around here really quick. Alright, that's blocked off. Locked. I'm assuming we're supposed to answer the phone, but let's see what's around. Yep, that's all blocked Roy. up. No, 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 he's not here. Go around the crew lounge and try the galley. Please, please be there, mate. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe we're supposed to answer the phone first then. Let's see. McCleary here. No, but we had something. You need to get out of there. Don't need to tell me twice. Listen, something's wrong in engineering. It's not safe. We'll go through the leg and come up through the under rig. Rennick better give the evacuation. Connor, you have to go through accommodation. It's all blocked. Do you hear me? O'Connor! First off, Crystal, that's a... That's an electric heater, not a gas one, so exploding is very is unlikely to occur rank? if someone were to fart in front of it. Alright, now we can go up the steps. Hold on, is there anything down here? Nope. Alright, now let's turn the flashlight off. We don't need that right now. I know he said to go through there, but let's see. Can we go this way? No nope. way through. Trot. Trot. There's a bright light. There? Does that mean inter extraterrestrials? Christ, is there somebody back there? I need to check. Trots! Trots! Is that you? I can't hear you, man. Open the door. Trots, the door's blocked. I can't get to you. What's up, wee man? Are you hurt? <laughs> wee man. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Trots! Trots! Sounds like he's fucked. Alright, so now we probably go this way. That would be insane, just to stare out into the water and see no land in sight for miles. 
Now, granted, of course, that's what's probably like on cruise ships, but I'm just saying, just being in the middle of a something that isn't even moving at all, that would still be, it would still take a little getting used to, but eventually, over time, you'd be like, fuck it, this is like business as usual. Cthulhu, are you down there? I mean, you're not mad that, you know, Homer Simpson beat you in a, in a all-you-can-eat contest, are you? I mean... He is Homer Simpson. He is a bottomless pit. That's why he's fat. Hello? Well, well, whoever that was, it was too late for them. They already went to light their dragonfly. My dad's safe. How about you? Lame. Anybody back there? Bloody hellfire! Get in, quick! Joey? You're all right. Jesus, what are you doing in here? What do you think I'm doing in here? What the bloody hell is going on? I don't know. People are dying, Roy. Dead? Who? who who's, who's dead? How? Douglas. Trots, I think. I, I don't know. It's, it's this thing. I, I think it's doing something to people. I don't know what to believe, you know what I mean? I do, I really do. I saw something out on the deck. I, I didn't stay to look, it just scared the shit out of me. I should barricade the door. We can't hide, Roy. We have to get off this rig right the fuck now. Well, without Rennick say so. Roy, did you hear Rennick? What, you think we're getting evacuated? He'd want everybody back at work if we were at the bottom of the North fucking Sea. <sighs> right. The lifeboats, then? Aye. You stay, barricade the door, let me clear a path, and once we're ready to go, I'll come and get you, right? I'll be here, don't worry. Getting some extra prayers in. <laughs> uh, we're going to need them. Gaz, um, you, you won't leave me. Uh, it's bloody terrifying out there. I'm not leaving you, Pat. I wouldn't blame you if you did, mate. You've got all the food in here for a start. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, get your man upstairs on the case, and I'll see you soon, right? We all know how this is going to work. Usually the people that says, you're not going to leave me behind, are you? They're the ones who are going to die. So, let me go ahead and say the rest in peace. Good knowing you there, buddy. Is there anything? Oh no, there's nothing over there, okay. Go ahead and turn that off for right now. So I'm some telling that we're probably gonna have to squeeze through there, but let's uh oh, my heat's pounding. Is Ow doing that. Did I just get zapped or All right, I guess we're gonna have to squeeze through this. Jesus. This is like some Leviathan oh, shit right here. If anyone has seen that movie. With Ernie Hudson. I forgot who the other characters were in that movie. Ah, stop fast. Fuck! So is this thing giving you visions as well? This is not gonna open. Or making you like relive the past or something like that? 
That's why these like memory flashes happen in different areas. Ow. Oops. All right, let's crawl through. Something sounds angry. Ooh, a can of spam or corn beef, I should say. Who's hungry? Hello? Anybody in here? Come on, man. Haven't you seen scary movies? You never say fucking hello. That's a death sentence. Anyway, that's just where we were. Time, Dogger, Fisher. Southwest 6 to Gale 8. Perhaps severe Gale 9 later. Rough or very rough. Swally shots. And if I remember correctly, because I think I saw Patrick get it by mistake. But I think you also get an achievement for hitting the monster with an object, too. Storm 10 for time southeast. Rough or very rough. Occasional rain. Good. Southwest 7 to severe gale 9, occasionally storm 10. Rough or very rough. Rain, showers late. I can't get this one open. No chance. White, Portland, Southwest 6 to gale It's so veiny. Take a look at the bat wing, bitch. I think it's stupid how you can't open the door while you're carrying an object. I'm not going back in there. Alright, so... Oh. That thing really is veiny. The big veiny triumphant bastard. down there the fucking things locked all right so I guess we're gonna be going outside again Christ Who am I gonna get done there lifeboat access all right, more parkouring. Yep. Okay. Almost hit the wrong button. At least the quick time events aren't as like crazy quick like they were in the RE in the original RE4. Or if you're not paying attention, you'll pretty much be dead instantly. Oh, wrong button. At least for the quick time in this, they at least give you a little moment to make sure you're hitting the right button. It's so foggy now. Is that one of the lifeboats or something? Attention crew of the Vera! All personnel need to get to their nearest evacuation point. Don't you all get too excited now. You'll all be back at work in 15 minutes once I get all this nonsense straightened out. Fucking bastard. Oh yeah, that guy is definitely the definition of a fucking dickhead boss. Ugh. Don't get too excited. You'll be back to work in 15 minutes once I get this situation sorted out. That's a life-threatening thing. 
fucking asshole. Port side muster. Oh, come on. Yep. Get to the other. I wasn't sure if that was a tap or a hold. I just tapped it. So, luckily, the guy jumped. There goes another lifeboat. Hold to grip after a jump. All right, here we go. I'm not terrible terrors. <laughs> All right. I figured that would get a laugh out of you, probably, Crystal. All right. Okay, I don't think there's a reason to try and oh, parkour there. You're joking me. Easy enough. Lifeboat deployment instructions. Remove safety pins from both arm cradles. Engage brake lever to swing boat into boarding position. Three, embark crew and visitors. Secure hatches, check clear below. Life, lower lifeboat into water. Start engine still away from rig. All right, so remove safety pins from both arm cradles. Halfway out of here. One more. Yeah. One more. Easier said than done. Now the lever. Get it into position. Nearly out of this. He probably did. It would be cheaper. No! Well, that sucks. Fuck! Well. Oh, that's just brilliant. Perfect. No fucking way. You just fucked yourself, sir. No phone call. Fire hose. No. Locked. Oh, never mind. Now the phone rings. Who's that? Renick. It's me, Kaz. McClary, what the fuck are you doing to my lifeboat? It's gone. It's just fell off into the fucking sea. You must have done it wrong. Oh, fuck off, Rennick. You built this fucking thing, not me. Who's with you? Uh, Roy's in the canteen. Finley and Brody are alive. Listen to me, McClary. Get your ass up to the chopper pad. Bring anyone else you can find to. And whatever you do, don't touch this stuff all over the bearer. I can't, I can't get back out. There's a safety door. The railings are all gone. For God's sake, do I have to tell you how to do everything? Give the door a tidy kick at the bottom. It'll open right enough. What about you? Just concentrate on getting to the pad. Don't worry about me. You see, Rennick? What? Well, does this mean we're okay, like? No hard feelings? Get to fuck, McClary. And when you get back, fuck off again. <laughs> I'd be happy to see you drown, but I'm not having your death on my fucking record. Go on your cell, yo. 
still a dick. But then again, that's probably something that I would probably say, and I know that's definitely something that fucking my brother-in-law would say. He'd be like, for once we get out of this situation, you can go fuck yourself again, bitch. <laughs> fuck cheap bastard. Do not obstruct the doorway. Shit! Find a nearby fire extinguisher to extinguish fires. Did I just go around? I guess I did. Discharge. Pull, aim, squeeze, squeeze. anyone didn't know that so does that mean we get to use this thing against the monster staring into nothingness Ennis, what's going on? Jesus, I, I need help. I, I, I don't know what to do. I, I... What was that? Someone's happening to me. Oh, no. Ennis. Ennis! Fuck. Ah, uh, they're all fucked. Exit to accommodation. So, so far this game seems like it's pretty straightforward, not trying to throw you for a loop or anything like that. Entering utility. Grip movable barriers with and then drag with WASD. Okay. I'm hearing shit. So, do you automatically die if you touch that? Oh, hold on. Ah, oh, fuck. I need to go around somehow. Because they said don't touch, so I'm assuming if you touch it, it's instant death. Wait, let me see. Uh, not sure what the Captain Dum Dum reference is all about, but I'm just going to keep moving on. All right, let's go down here. <sighs> oh, okay. So there must have been something I missed in the chat then. Just like in any horror movie, you know nothing's Stuff gonna go right over. when you're crawling through fucking Christ. vents. Don't fucking fall. Don't fucking fall. Oh, 
something was down there. That's me. What's his name? Gibbo or whatever. Which one was Gibbo again? He's doing laundry. All right. Okay, I guess he just sits there. Oh, is he moving? Nope, still uh, playing with the laundry door. Still fucking with that washing machine door. So now we're going to start doing a little cat and mouse shit. Wait, are we back to where we were just a little bit ago? Bitch, get you some help. Right? Jesus, you're a terrible. Do not go down those fucking stairs. What the hell is going on? Uh, trots. I, I think it was trots. No, it's just fucking horrible, whatever it is. Just stay in here and keep quiet. Did you get to the lifeboats? Yeah. Fuck knows if they ever work, but they definitely don't fucking work now. I had a wee chat with Renick about it while I was out there. How did that go? Badly. The cunt still reckons we should get to the bird. You think? You got a better idea? Kaz, mate, I'm not going to make it over the deck. I'm not feeling so good, pal. I think I need my insulin. What? You're fucking kidding, Roy. No! Oh, I'm sorry to inconvenience you, Mr. <laughs> Bloody Fit and Healthy. 
I tell you what, I'll have a little chat with my pancreas, shall I, and tell it to pull its socks off. All right, all right, fuck's sake. <laughs> Could you not just eat some fucking jam or something? Oh, bloody hell, the man's a medical genius. I'll get on the blower to Dr fucking Spock and tell him not to panic. We've solved diabetes here. It's fucking McCoy. No Spock. He was the point of your cunt. <laughs> <laughs> you think you can manage to get to your cabin? You've summoned there, aye? Hey? I'll get to the helipad. Make sure that cunt doesn't he try leaving without you. Yeah, all right. I'm not useless. I can get there. Listen, uh, uh, when, when you get to the chopper, tell Archie to radio in the support ship. We, 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 we need all the fucking help we can get, Kaz. All right, big man, all right. Just be careful, OK? My girls need their godfather in one piece. All right, so clearly these guys are Star Trek nerds. So uh, I guess we're supposed to go back out there. I'm going to assume, yep. video game, some shit's gonna go down. Of course it's locked. I don't like the sound of that. Whatever it is. get across to the bird. By Christ, I can barely see the lift to get there with this fog. Ah, so a little silent hill moment with all this fog. I hope that prick dies. I'm pretty sure he probably does, but still. Fuck that. I really can't go that way. I can hear creepy shit. 
shit out in the distance. Fuck! Ah, Sunil. What the fuck happened here? Alright, some more cow and mouse stuff, I assume. No! 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 Help me! Dobby! Christ almighty! No! Hmm. Well, there goes Dobby DL. May he rest in peace. All Dobby wanted to do was be free. Guys, Jesus, Ellis. What are you doing up there? That thing will see you. That thing? It's Muir, guys. It's fucking Muir. Muir? Jesus. I... Christ! I don't understand, guys. Listen, we have to get to the helipad, all right? I tried talking to him, but he came for me. Like, he didn't care me at all. It's no him anymore, Ennis. Does that mean you do believe? Save who we can. Aye, uh, uh, you're right. The only way up is the crew lift. He won't let anyone leave. Then we need to get past him. Uh, all right. I'll see you there. But, eh, then he be a hero if he hears me, all right? Well, then don't let him hear you. Uh, see you at the lift. That's a big motherfucker. Stealth game or cat and mouse. That's my big, beautiful looking bastard right there. So I gotta go look at him. He's got eyeballs. Not really, I don't see him. I think I see eyeballs on it. Did he see me? Ugh. Kinda looks like something from the mist. Except they're not purple except they're not purple. Poor bastard. <laughs> That's what I was going to do. 
bullshit. Hey, at least I didn't fall to my death because I couldn't hold on to things. Wall walking. Jesus. There's a left. No far now. I was going to climb through this. those guys are so easy. Yeah, right. That's why I saw you die numerous times later on in the game. Christ, Dobby. Poor Dobby. I just froze. I didn't get how I got myself in here, but the cargo hoist came down and we're right crabs in a creel now. Are, are those the hoist controls behind the fence? Maybe I can shift it. All right. You're a good man, cuz. Yeah, because I'm the one making all the sacrifices. Now, where are you going, buddy?
on top of me or what? go after the helicopter and I like how all of a sudden the helicopter gets loud and you can clearly hear out in the distance when you're playing when you're on the other side you should go back and get them like hell we shoot you saw them they're gone get a move on Archie Rennick we have to give them more time you told them to come! What I told them is that we are leaving! And we are leaving! Now! Wait! 
can't fucking die here. Christ. Jesus. Fuck. Come on. Come back. Hey! What the fuck is he doing? Fuck, fuck, fuck. What was that? Pilot error? Should have kept better than to let you two out the gather. The two greatest minds of your generation united over a bucky. Nobel Prize Committee will be warming up their checkbooks already. You seriously, seriously think if you leave the country, this will all just blow over? No one's going to chase me out into the middle of the North Sea. My mum always said I'd married beneath me, Kaz, but I thought you were smarter than this. I'm fucking doing my best. No, no, you're not doing your best. What do you know about oil rings, you roaster? I'm good with the licking. A terrace houses, cars, flats, maybe a shop, but if you're feeling adventurous. Roy's put in the work. He said I'm up to the job. Oh, for, for God's sake. Roy's a cook. He's a chef. He's a cook. It's just for a few weeks. We'll just let it cool down a bit. Then I'll call Billy Chamberlain and have a word. Talk him into dropping the charges. If you run the police, I'll give you the jail for sure. <sighs> when are you leaving? No more, Mona. You are shitting me, McCleary. It's the girls' school concert. I'm fucking scum up, Suze. What do you want from me? I'm just saying this, Kaz. If you leave us, if you run, if you go, then we are done. Hear me. Well, fuck you too, bitch. No, oh, no, don't say that. I'm, I'm here. Oh, I guess we're tapping that. Suze? Fucking out. hell. I'm losing my mind. Alrighty. No fucking what? Give me a minute, really quick. It was raging. Uh, dear sir, I am seeking information in respect of an incident that occurred on the evening of Wednesday, 27th August 1935, at the Duke Public House in the Dead Storm area of Glaxolo. The incident in question involving a serious assault is being investigated by our crime division who are interested in speaking to a Mr. Cameron McClelly, who is believed to be under your supervision aboard the Bear D oil platform at this time. Cooperation in locating this individual and escorting him back to the mainland is of the whole utmost importance. If contact is made, please inform the GDD at the telephone number above and we will arrange chat up. We will make further inquiries in person at the office of Carol Elliot Ltd. if you are not able to assist us. We look forward to hearing from you. Yours sincerely, Mon E. Hogan, Chief Superintendent. How about you go back to fucking TikTok and shut the fuck up? Jesus, the fucking chopper, man. What's up there, Arrow? I saw it. Did you get to the light boats? Aye, they're busted. You fucking kid, Dow. Mechanisms are completely fucked, cheap bastards. Then it's what, McQuarrie? Just listen, here's what I need you to do. I need you to get to the radio room and call the support ship. That's fucked, man. The fucking crane fell on it. <clears throat> Hello? Hello? Shit. Hey, I know who it is, you daft prick. Listen, that's the generator's failing. If they cut out, we'll be on emergency batteries, so the radios won't work. You're not listening. The radio room is gone. Christ, man, there's other radios, but only one set of Jennies. If they fail, you're going to need to head down there and manually restart them. I'm not going down there again, fucking gibble. Kaz, if the lecky cuts out, you won't have a choice. You go and do it. No, Kaz, I'm busy. You need to get to the Jennies and stop them from short and got it. Aye, uh, Jennies, right. Brody. <laughs> Shite! Shite! He said shit perfect that time. Yeah, we'll fuck 
fucking calling. Miss Kaz, who's this? It's Davros! I'm on the life force! God knows how I made it, but I did! Where is everyone? They're all gone. You, you've got to get back up here. You could climb back up! I just got here! Do it again! Ah, shit! Davros, I... Davros, can you hear me? Hello? Phone call. Got shit to do. And I'm assuming I can't go down there. We'll probably should, but it's probably gonna be coming anyway. Administration. Exit to admin. Gonna do shit, Crystal. If it's already if it's blowing, if there's already hot air outside. I can't open it. Nope, hold on. Nope. Never mind. Good morning, everyone. Here is the shipping forecast for 0630 on Tuesday, December the 23rd, 1975. First, gale warnings. There are warnings of severe gales in Fair Isle, Hebrides. Bailey, Pharaohs, Viking, Forties. There are warnings of gales in all areas. The general synopsis at 0600. Depression North Atlantic will move east and deepen. Here is the shipping forecast for the next 24 hours. Viking southwesterly, veering westerly, gale 8 to storm 10. Very rough or high. Rain and wintry showers. Poor or very poor. Forties, Cromarty, Forth. Southwest seven to severe gale nine. Occasionally storm 10 in forties and Cromarty. Rough or very rough, occasionally high. Wintry showers, moderate or poor. Tyne, Dogger, Fisher. Southwest six to gale eight, perhaps severe gale nine later. Rough or very rough. Squally showers, good, occasionally poor. German Bight, Humber. Southerly 6 to Gale 8, increasing severe Gale 9 or Storm 10 for a time in southeast. Rough or very rough. Occasional rain. Good, occasionally poor. Thames, Dover. Southwest 7 to severe Gale 9, occasionally Storm 10. Rough or very rough. Rain, showers later. Good, Occasionally poor. White, Portland, Plymouth. Southwesterly 6 to Gale 8. Occasionally severe Gale 9 at first. Very rough, 
or high. Rain, then shower. All right. What not the sure. fuck happened in here? I'm not sure if that thing is repeating or if it's something different. But I wonder if you get achievements to listen to the whole entire fucking thing. Huh? I can't get this one open. No chance. Uh, hello? Fast. Jesus fucking Christ! That's a big ass head. Fuck! It's the boss man. Fuck! Fucking man. You already fired me, man. What else do you want? Banana pudding when you think of ass. Alrighty, that's a new one. Oh, well, there's a the helicopter. Oh, come on. You're joking me. Get out, fucking go. Ow. that he can't make that jump, but he can jump high enough to get that door if I'm looking at that properly. Get out fucking door. Pull yourself up. Even that 
not fucking high! Shite! That's not even that fucking high. How is that instant death? That's some fucking bullshit. What, what are these guys? Scottish? Scottish people must be some weak ass motherfuckers if they cannot survive a jump like that. I'm sorry. That's fucking pathetic. Even my brother-in-law's fat ass can make that jump. He might snap his fucking knees, but he'll probably still survive it. Things locked. somewhere.
All you gotta do is just relax and float in the water there, Mr. Arrow. Entering engineer. Lady. Finley. Jesus, am I glad to see you. Aye, you and all. Fucking Rennick nearly had me. He's, 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 he's changed. He's fucking vicious. It's, not, it's changed much to me. Have you seen anybody else? Uh, uh, Brody. He sent me down here to restart the Jennies. The generators, aye. That's where I was headed. But the lights are on. Uh, right, we're an emergency battery system, no. There's not got any hold for long. The beer is taking a lot of damage. Infrastructure's compromised. That's just brilliant. So how do we get the Jennies working? Right, well, first thing, get in that cabin over there and reset the protective relay. That might kick the Jennies back on. Go on, see what happens. All right, Arrow, question for you. If you were stuck on an oil rig for a year, how long would it take before the large march right there looks good to you? Tell Finley. Assuming Finley doesn't get killed. Charm. Shit. The generator must have tripped because of a fault somewhere. Aye, and the relay will just keep resetting until we fix it. We'll need to restart the generator manually. Right, where you go then? There's two jobs here, McCleary. The Jenny's in the fault. You deal with the Jenny's and I'll find the fault. What the fuck was that? I don't know, but the generators are that way. Well, I'm no fucking going down there. Have you got a better plan? No? 
Aye, well, I fucking didn't think you would have somehow. Fucking got on with it! Aye, where you go then? Pushes those type of doors and they automatically open. What the fuck is that? Stuff, which means this is going to probably take a minute. Maybe. Alright. 
Alright, so now we're dealing with somebody named Adair. have their humanity, but at the same time... How sensitive are these fuckers to sound anyway? I don't know. 
if they can do that. Jump out at me. Have you not seen a dare? Oh, it's that prick. He's a wee in mud handling by the sounds of it. Listen, we are in business. We've gone for full power to batteries to sitting in the fucking dark. What are you all about? Oh, and getting in a stushy is going to help us, is it? Just get that generator running. It's out in the floor. The key for it should be in there somewhere. I'll be out here looking for the fall. We'll be looking out for a dare as well, all right? Quiet route. Oh, I think this is what Brian said last time during his stream too. Oh, Christ. Ah. No way.
can see where the fault is. Game. It's blowing a fuse back in mud handling. Mud handling? Does that know where the deer is? Kaz, it's coming back. You need to move. Get back to mud handling and fix that fuse. Right.
back over here too. I think. Oh yeah, there's an achievement for barely running. I like to see that one accomplished. I'm pretty sure there are people that will try to get that achievement. Fuse box has to be somewhere. Oh yeah, more cat and mouse. Probably way the fuck over there. No, my luck. Fix the fuse. Ah, God damn. Fucked on our ways. Locked. Ah, there you go. I like how we're just casually pushed out the fuse while we got a fucking murderous monster behind us. He's trying to break down the gate with this big wop ball sack. Fuck off now, dude. You don't have to camp like a piece of shit. I wonder if it's because I'm finding eggs and that's why it's fucking camp. I 
have a pick I can. Can't open that apparently. get his attention. Oh, that is a giant hand. When it comes to games like this there, Mr. Arrow, Chris was the one and done type. Finley? Cut. No, 
It's Brody. I thought it was Finlay with the lights coming back on. It worked? Oh, thank Christ. Finlay was here, but we... We get separated. You all right? Aye. The rig is near, though. Oh, We're starting to sink. Are you kidding me? How long till it goes under? Soon, if we do nothing. Look, I need you to come down to the pontoons. If we engage the tension when she's in all four legs, we can buy some time. What's the point? The pontoons, the electricity, they, they fucking think it's a fucking nightmare. What are you on about? You survived this long, haven't you? More than can be said for most of the poor bastards on this rig. Christ, guys, somebody up there must like you. That's what Roy keeps telling me. Aye. Well, he's a Barnsley fan, so he'll be used to praying. <laughs> You're no wrong there. I'm no wrong about this either. You're the jammiest bastard on this rig, and we need that right now. So let's do this, <laughs> aye? What do I need to do? You engage the winches in legs A and B, and I'll do the others. Easy. There's a direct route down from engineering. Aye, all right. I'll, uh, I'll find my way down. Top man, Cass. I'll give you a shout over the tannoy if we're in business. Alright, so if he's still around, so I'm guessing he's still gonna be doing this cat and mouse shit. Oh, never mind, he's in a completely different area, so it's safe to move around as normal. What the hell are you talking about there, Patrick? You mean the fact that I already picked it up? Before you even said anything? that's nice about some games. At least there's some games where you don't have to really look for much. It's just a straightforward game. You ain't gotta worry about trying to find collectibles or anything. You just go about and call it good. Not sure who that is, that's dead, but it looks like they 
got the head smashed. Do you even get an achievement for discovering all the dead bodies? Alright, let's go down. Sort it at the fuse box and it'll keep short now. He made that fall, but yet he couldn't make the other one that was on the fucking outside. That's what made no fucking sense earlier. That's what was pissing me off earlier. Two attempts. And then when you look at them from the fucking helicopter's point of view, it's not even that big of a fucking distance. It made zero fucking sense. I 
But yet, that jump was the same, or fall, was the same goddamn distance, and guess what? He survived. I think whoever came up with that idea needs to be shot. Reactivate the first tension winch. Oh, thank Christ. It is. Alright. Right? Attention. Remove safety lockout pin. Reactivate winch mechanism. <laughs> Installation manager must be notified at any change. Attention leg winches. No author unauthorized personnel. Alright, so pull the pin, activate the machine. Okay, back to the winch controls. Understatement. Act on the first cable. You need to do the same as leg B through the pontoon. Right. See you on the other side, Kaz. Hope so, pal. All right. Looks Fucking like hope so. Swimming. Oh, there's definitely oil in the water because it's, it's got the rainbow effect going on. Guy better be good at holding his breath. Fading <laughs> fast. Fuck. How many more bodies out there? Jesus. I mean, it wasn't that very far of a swim, but some people uh, sometimes panic. Alright, time to go to the next area. Exit to pontoons. Have fun. Does that mean that you're about to call a night there, Crystal? And Patrick, probably? It would say entering the area. Oh, the swimming. Hello? Christ, creepy as fuck down here. You ain't lying. Nothing but darkness. You just see four lights out in the distance. I'd be like, fuck this place too. This is some scary. This be some scary ass shit. And the only sound is the rumbling along the walls. That's not helping. Not sure what that was supposed to do, or what that accomplished. Oh, it's opening the door. Even get there. Yep, more dead bodies. Dead bodies everywhere. Can't identify them? Oh, nope, I guess not. Oh, time to venture further into the unknown. Dragonfly Rain mocks everybody. You should be, uh, that's nothing new there, Mr. Arrow. Shit. 
danger, explosive hazard, strictly no smoking. In the event of drill during rupture, this area will collect petroleum overflow and must be evacuated immediately. Alright, so that explains why the why the color why the water has the rainbow effect. Right. Warning, danger to life. The green screen must be raised before maintenance can be performed. Lara must be fully engaged. Warning, the green screen entrapment hazard. No, no, I do not want to go in there. Fuck. Bera the pontoon sunk build. Warning, danger to life. The free screen must be raised before maintenance can be performed. Lever must be fully engaged. Warning, the free screen entrapment has been. Alright, so... Before we send old boy into the abyss... Is this area locked or were we supposed to go up here like sometime afterwards? Let's see. Oh, oh Christ, look. poor guy. Okay, so I've basically seen some poor dead bastard on the other side. Alright. Are you just speaking in general there, Crystal, or what Silent Hill are you talking about? Uh, right? Here we go. Alright, so for anybody who doesn't... Alright, this guy, this would have to be your worst nightmare right here there, uh... Um, Oh, hold on. This would definitely have to be your worst nightmare right here there, Mr. Arrow. Swimming in an unknown and not even know how fucking long it is. I know if Arrow's still watching, Arrow probably must have had a little panic attack just about now. Come on, meow. This is some bullshit. nightmare for someone who hates fucking swimming. Shit. I think I am about to die. Oh, hold on, hold on. There we go. Barely. Shite, that was close. Now I know if it was me, because I can't hold my breath for very long, I probably definitely would have drowned. Why, were you getting like panic attacks or crystal or freaking out of the drowning? Alright, so are we going to warm ourselves up in front of another heater because it sounded like he was shivering there? Oh, nope, never mind. No time to rest. More draining. He's done the other one. Oh, you can't descend. Now, why would you want to go? Wait, do 
door locked? Oh, you yeah. gotta be kidding me. So what the fuck am I supposed to do then? Am I supposed to actually swim underwater? The fucking thing's locked. shit and you can barely see anything. Ooh. Hurry up there, buddy. You almost got it. All right. <coughs> Christ. <coughs> Fucking oil. <coughs> can you even swim in oil? I mean, I know it's a combination of oil and water, but... Your eyes gotta be like burning or something from that shit. Alright, next area.
You know what's funny is when I was watching, I think it was Instant, when I was watching Instant play this on YouTube, I was like, oh, it must be the end or towards the end because the nice music. And then when I was looking over, like maybe like 15, 20 minutes later when I was at work, I was like, oh shit, he's still going? This is one of those. This is one of those games that kind of cock tease you, thinking that you're almost towards the end because of the nice music, but really you're not. You're not there just yet. So pretty and mesmerizing. Yeah, I mean, look at the music. It's so nice and calming. You're, it's making you think that it's almost over. All right, next area. Accommodation. How can I fucking stand this cold? Jesus. Go ahead and eat our nuts up. Oh Christ. I need to get out of this fucking place. I need to get him. Thank Christ. I better check on Roy. Alright, going on. Before we go, need to warm the balls up really quick. Alright, time to warm up the hiney. That's right. Okay. The Trowelman, the Trowelman, from Twelve Coastal Poems by Craig Henry Campbell, B. 1893 to D. 1935. From Oera, the Fa'mul, huddled close together, in flock against the winter brine, block shine the stone of the echoed sounds, home to yellow lights of travelers, travelers strayed and bound. By heavy midnights, come upon the shoals of cold north singing. All beers drip upon the tillia, the tiller. Down below, the faded boards and hands, smooth tokens speak of scrambles lost in one. The morning watcher turns her gaze to see where turns spill the clouds and her childish slumber on beneath their blanket spun of shingled home. We do not miss you, precious weans, though. As we sleep ways break the bow, though storms gather beneath the brow of winter and woolen gathers, now the clouds, and still wokes the deep, and still on we plow. <laughs> plow. All right. Something we gotta go outside. I didn't even hear the phone ring. Oh, never mind, we're dialing out. Roy, fuck's sake. Oh, Kaz, my son, the Lord. I've been worried sick. Sorry, pal. I've been away out of the shop since I last seen you. What's going on, Kaz? What happened with the chopper? That cunt tried to go away at us, but... Well, didn't he work out well for him or the bird? Bloody hell, Kaz. Is anyone alive? Aye, I saw Finlay. We had to get the jennies on. And Brody as well, helping with the tension legs. Do you know what? I'm a fucking rig expert now. <laughs> Told you to take no time. Yeah, I'm glad you've not been alone out there. Uh, those two are all right. I saw Connor. He's one of these things, but... I thought... Ah, fuck, I don't know what I thought, but... Whatever it is, folk are being turned into, there's something of them still in there. What's going on? Roy? Uh, it's, it's all right. Um, uh, it's just me being clumsy. I'll just get my shot, I'll be right as rain. Do you need me to come and get you? No. Shall this rig out? On the way to get us home. See you, girls. All right? Hi. You're a good lad, Kaz. That's why Sue's loves you. She does, you know. She really loves you. Kaz? Hi. Sorry, I have to go, Roy. Will you make it to the cabins all right? Yeah, I'm on the way now. You, uh, be on yours. I'm praying for you, mate. Remember, Jesus loves you. 
Ja. Ik wou. Hefters. Alright, shit's about to go down. And Roy, make sure you manage that power of diabetes you have. Oh, phone ring it again? Or this time I can say. Hello? Hello? Anyone there? Ah, here he is. Listen, I, I don't have long. I left away my mum. I had to get to. She's hurting me. I'm going up my head. Susan. Is that you? Uh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> this one's trying to give me a kick in the all. Going to be a wee boxer, is it? Aye, you wish. I wish I could see you. You're beautiful like this. Aye? Well, I feel like an elephant. Jesus, what is this? Susan. What is this? crazy now or what? Starting to pick up because it's night time. I'm not sure that has nothing to do with it, but at the same time, probably. All right. Anything up here? Nope. All right, let's go. Uh, hearing whale sounds again. There might be monsters out and about. Christ, look at that. Is it called Becca? It is ever growing, and it won't stop. It's getting prettier the more it grows, though. Shit, that's oil dripping and everything. One sparking. Fuck. Fuck. Ha! Come on, man. That's not even that far of a fall. Stop being a little bitch. That's really nice. Jesus. Jesus Christ, what the fuck is happening to me? Ha. Capsule core. up there, but let's see what's around. Yep, all right. There's the book. Nothing. Going back way. Yep. Up we go, up we go, up. Cash! Cash! Over here! Brody! the area where we have to burn this fucker? Brody. I think it is. Oh, fucking hell, how you doing? Better than you by the looks of it. Did you see any others? You mean anyone alive? Well, I spoke to Roy. He's no doing great without his insulin. And I've no idea where Finley is now. I spoke to her a few minutes ago. She's stuck until she gets past Rennick. Or what used to be Rennick. Feels like everybody's deed or worse. I don't know about your side of the pontoons, but where I was, the oil tanks are burst, and I think there's a gas leak. I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm looking for a fucking bright side here. Well, let's cross that bridge when we come to it, all right? Right now, we have to deal with the stack. <laughs> that noise! Aye, okay. All right, the stack. I kind of think the flare shouldn't be looking like that. No, the main feed's ruptured. It's burning out. It could get worse. And if it does, it could spread to the derrick and cause an explosion. Right, so we're fucked. Again. Yeah. Not if we switch the flare onto the auxiliary gas pipe. If you go over to the processing quad, I Wait, can... What? Have you seen it out there? Oh, aye, it's quite nice in here, you know. Maybe we should swap. <laughs> you can't work the controls, Kaz. Otherwise I, of course, I'd go myself. Christ. All right. All right, what am I doing? You need to get there and find the diverter valve, main to the auxiliary. It's on the middle floor, flare side. I'll ignite the stack from here. 
Right. If I can't do it, then you'll need this. Jesus. I'll be on the tannoy if you need any help. Good luck, Kaz. Great. And of course, like all video, all horror video games, it's not gonna work, so I'm the one that has to go out there and fucking do it. A note from Vivi, Brody. Dog the radio out about no signal, no fucking nothing. You know what we have to do. This is our fucking problem. F. Alright, not sure if there's an achievement for picking up letters and stuff. Alright, so can't go there. <laughs> Entering processing quad. Now we're gonna need some more cat and mouse shit, or not yet. Wailing sounds like you know something bad is out here. I mean, why I went there? It's a horror game. Kind of 
a little goddamn busy. Alright, so I'll wait for him to crawl back around again before we attempt to redirect him somewhere else. This looks like this is a safe spot, or someone's safe spot. Whoops. Use glare operation as a point. Glad you're alright. I've started the igniter. Give it a sec. Ah, uh, can't see anything. Of course you can, because I know that fucking lucky. Exactly. Okay. The gas is pulled back toward the right. I'm sorry, Kaz. I need you to do it manually. It's too dangerous to leave it. You'll have to head out onto the stack and use the relay to again. Fuck. Did you hear me, Kaz? Wave or something so I know you're receiving. Prick. <laughs> Understood. Godspeed. That's right. Just call me the Irish Isaac Clark, because that's pretty much what I am in okay. this game. Divert the... Uh, what was that again? A gas flare operation, a hazard warning. The gas flare must remain lit at all times to burn excess inflammable gases. In the event of main gas line damage, the gas divert valve will switch flow to the auxiliary gas line. The auto addiction should occur after the use of the gas divert valve. Warning, in the event of ignite failure of the gas flare, must be manually relit immediately. Oh no shit. Alright, down we go. Relight the flare. Can I just do a solar flare instead? <laughs> Before auto save. Jesus, you're fucking joking me. Time to come in. We just gotta run. Parkour. Vaulting. Vaulting. Break it down. Break it down. Break it down. Oh shit. Oh wrong button. God damn it. I'm pushing F instead of D like a fucking moron. Tiny service, you stupid fucking bastard! Jump! Ah. Come on, you son of a bitch! Ah. Oh, I see him squeeze through there. Oh, All right, there we go. Oh, this fucking flare fired. Now we're about to burn this motherfucker. Oh, shit! Stop. I'm doing this! Burn, motherfucker, burn, Shit. motherfucker, burn! Look at him spazzing around! That's right! Roast in hell, bitch! cleared up now. Probably because that big bastard fucking broke through everything. Ah. 
Oh yeah, you know that shit had to hurt. Gears pieces. Oh, I'm sorry, love. I'm not being difficult. I'm just trying to pick up the pieces of your mess. He wouldn't let it go, okay? He's carried a fucking torch for you since school. He's always hated me for being the bigger man and for having you and those beautiful fucking wings. Oh, no. Bigger man! You are shitting me, McLean. You're the bigger man. Do you think your old daughter's got more brains and bigger balls than you have? What about yeah. the kids? The flat's in your name. You go to Berlin and they just take it away. Listen, Suze, come on! No, no, you just you shut it, McLean. You sit your arse down and you, you just listen to me. How can we not just talk about this? Because I am smarter than you, that's why. And I will not, I will not let you drag those girls down to me. Sort this. Whatever you have to do, I don't care. Just sort this or I'll leave you, you understand? Seriously, look, I'm really sorry. I've just enough, okay? Just, just get out of my sight. Try not to put anyone else in hospital the day, eh? That might make a nice change for you. She said your daughter has more balls than you. Seriously. No, I didn't mean that. Why'd you have to? Ah, Seriously. Jesus Christ! Oh, fuck! Jesus! Jesus! What have I done? Ah, Jesus Christ! Ah, you bastard! Now we're down at the bottom of the rig. Find a way back inside. Oh, oh shit! No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you have to... Ah, Suze. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck. Jesus. Suze. What have okay. I done? Ah, Jesus Christ. Ah, you bastard. I didn't even see that the floor was missing. But then again, all I did was take one step, but there should have been no reason for me to have fallen off. Any 
our creepy crawlies that we got to get around in this bitch. Not from Nori, Finlay. No way through in the rain is full of oil. We can do this. I don't want to give up. We can get out. We lost, we lost cars, but we can sort this out. Don't do anything stupid, Nori. Ah, more swimming slash oil diving. Hurts. I wonder if we're gonna have to deal with our boss. That big headed motherfucker. Finley. Jesus Christ. Cleary, how the fuck are you no dead? Well, I thought still I was. fine. You fit to help? Christ, can anything help? Aye, if we'd cut ourselves loose and quick like, we'll buy us time, maybe enough. Do we even know if anyone's coming? We've been off radio for hours, so aye, I should hope so. Finley. Good, let's catch. I thought... Aye, aye, he's a walking, greeting miracle. Are we doing this or no? Aye. We float the rig. I'll dive down, release the tension cables. Hopefully we balance out, maybe end up higher in the water. I'll need you both in marine control. That's right. He's up on the roof. I have to get him. No. Is out there? You have to get to marine control with Finlay. Please. It's a two-man job and we don't have much time. You think Roy does? I can't just leave him. I promised I'd get him home. Ah, let him go. Fine. If you want to go, go. But this place is filling up with gas and oil from the drill to the derrick. God knows where else it's leaking to. I can't recommend it. I know, Brody. But I'm going. I have to. Engineering's your only path up there, and it's flooded, so you'll have to swim. It's a long way. Plan each step, and if you're underwater, stay calm. Oh, aye, that's exactly how that'll go. Enough! You both know what you're doing, so let's go. There you are, Brody. Oh, you nerve, all right, McLeary? I'm coming, Roy. I'll find you. All right. More swimming. More swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, 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 swimming. All of this just to save our godfather. Right? That's what he is, right? Ball 
follow the yellow cable. I'm assuming I'm supposed to follow the yellow cable. Why else would there be like a yellow cable there for? Here we go again. Fuck! Some articles saying that people actually said that fucking nightmare. dying isn't as painful as I mean it's dying. Be real. Come on, guys, come on, keep it together. Um, Fuck's sake. Drowning isn't as painful as, as as you might think it is. Well, enough waiting around. I know a lot of people were said like a lot of the articles that I read, like some people were saying that eventually there was a point where it felt like they were able to uh, breathe in the water before everything just faded to black. Open. No chance. Must have gone through the roof. Must be a way up somewhere. Gas gone to roof, boy. Alrighty. Can't go that way. So I guess we have to go through here, I'm assuming. Look at that. That is some weird shape, man. I feel sick. Just for 
Godfather. I mean, I get Shit. it. He's your fucking best friend, but still at the same time, you might have to. You would eventually have to just pull the plug and say, "I'm sorry." Jesus! Fucking poor bastard! Fuck! Aye. That's right, you still. Sorry, man. Alright, Roy, you better be fucking alive by the time I get to you after making me go through all this trouble. <laughs> Get your ass. What's up there, Bucket988? And goddamn, thanks for telling me the bad news. Oh, shit. I can't get this one open. No chance. All right. Jesus. That is some dang shit right there. Son of a bitch. Fuck. All right. 
crawling through vents. That's lovely. Good thing he's not moving that fast. Please. That must be it. Thank Christ. Roy! Roy. Roy. Talk to me, big man. Come on, oh, man. Don't come die on. on me now. After Roy. all this trouble I went through. Roy, wake up, you prick. Punch him in his fucking stomach. Please, wake up. Wake up, come on. Oh, you bastard. Don't leave me. Roy, don't leave me. I can't do this, man. I'm scared, Roy. I'm fucking terrified. You should have ate some jam like Cass said. Hey. <laughs> All that trouble, and the motherfucker's dead. I was just going to fucking kill me, man, you know? <sighs> she loved you, big man. So did my girls. <laughs> Man, what were we gonna tell them? <laughs> oh yeah, that would definitely oh, suck donkey balls there. Your Fuck Uncle it. Roy's not coming him. You lasted that long, and then diabetes kills you. Me and Ollie. I love this big man. You hear me? I love them. Well, that was a waste. Poor bastard. No, the phone. Better answer. Who's this? Finley, Kaz. You got it to Roy. Good. Look, Kaz, the wall's up to admin, so I couldn't get to marine control. You need to try and get there from where you are, all right? Jesus. Aye. And that English bastard better come and all. You can't stay in that hut forever, no. Kaz? Kaz, you still there? When you're not shouting, I start to worry like. Is Roy making a fuss? Put him on, I'll get him tail. Kaz? For fuck's sake, what's going on? Roy's no coming. Ah, oh, Jesus. Kaz, did not make it? It was too late. Fuck. I'm sorry, Kaz. You know what? We all love the big man, eh? I let him down. He was relying on me. No, no. No, you did everything you could. You went back for him. None of this is your fault. It's not anyone's. Look, I'm sorry, Kaz, but we need your help here. We're all fucking good down otherwise. Aye. I want half this fucking wreck. Good. You need to find a way across the deck, get to marine control room, and call me 
when you get there, and I'll talk you through it. All right? Right. Sorry there, big guy. Alright, let's see how much more we got to endure. So, let me see. We've already been fired. Lost a bunch of friends. And then we also lost our fucking godfather to our kid. Yep. This man really has someone up above watching. It's like, uh, it's like listening to, hold on. Fuck, fuck, fuck! Oh, oh. It's kind of almost like, uh, okay, hold on. Steady. All right, monkey bars. That's really nice. I know as fucked up as this situation is, but even even a normal person would have to take a little bit of time to admire that. about anything anyway. Above my pay grade, thus. Ballast override. Warning. These switches are intended for emergency use only. Tension leg cable controls must be disabled before using these switches. Ensure all personnel have left cantoon areas before using these switches. It's a fucking spaceship. I'm not touching anything Finley doesn't tell me to. <laughs> Alright, so are we supposed to answer a radio or something? Jesus, fuck. Rope. Not you at all. Damn. Nice and slow. That's alright. I just need to make a call. Yeah? Alright. He's like, you stay there. There we go. And I'll stay over here. Marine control. I'm, uh, I'm not alone. Fuck! Is it that bastard Renick? No, no, no. Jesus. Jesus. It's, it's Roper. He's all messed up. Gaz, listen to me, all right? Listen. All right. We need to keep it together. 
All right, just tell me what to do. There's only two switches. You just have to find them. First, find the ballast operations panel. There'll be a switch there to put it into manual control. You flip that switch. Go do that, and then I'll talk you through the next part. All right? Aye, all right. I'll look for it. Set ballast control to manual. Alright, uh, yeah, no on my luck. This motherfucker is gonna fucking. Why is it locked? Fuck's sake. Alright, uh, so we gotta find a key or something now. I won't be surprised if that fucker back there probably has it. Lost the keys around here, but let's see. Broken wire, a broken light. Any chance? Bear call Finley. Waste on the floor, accidents galore. It's almost like seeing those uh, Simpson ocean things at my work. So all right, pal. Here we go. I'll look after this now. All right. Hey, What's next? Now you flood the forward pontoon and I mean flood it to the fucking brim. Hold on a minute. The pontoons are already fucked full of oil and gas. This might push it all up to the deck. We don't have a choice. The whole rig could tip over. Flooding that pontoon will at least give us a fighting chance. What about Brody? Is he not down there? He'll be out of there by now. He's done his part. We just have to do it all. Right? Alright. Right. This is all over here. What was that? It's Roper. Never mind him. Flood the forward pontoon. Aye, aye, hang on. Okay. Okay, I'll meet you there. We're going to be all right, Cass. I fucking hope so. Oh, shit. In my mind. You certainly are.
Ah, shite, that was close. <laughs> the fuck is making that noise? Ah, uh, yeah. Drop back down, you go up, you drop back down. It's kinda old after a while. Trying to run. Now I'm running in fucking waist deep water. You know damn well as many tentacles as that guy has, he would have caught up to me a while ago. Fuck you, asshole. You were gonna leave me for to die. So why should I give two shits about you, you son of a bitch? Oh, Jesus. Jesus, that was... Oh, fuck. You rest in peace, you cunt. Christ. I've got to get the fuck out of here. Drill operations. Finley, thank fuck. Finley? What's going on? We need 
talking to? Kaz, you made it. Brody, what's wrong with Finley? She's freaked out here. Listen, Kaz, there's no much time. There's oil and gas getting in here. When it fills, it will be headed right up the drill pipe. What are you on about? I'm still in the pontoons. Uh, I've only got a couple of minutes. I can't stop it. The rig's a time bomb now. You understand? One mm. spark and... You need to find a way off. Just get back up here and we'll work it out, yeah? I can't do that. What? I can't get back up. Wait, no way. I'm sorry. Wait, listen. You're on your own now. I'll come to you. All right? No, you won't. You wouldn't even get halfway to me. The legs flooded and the gas. It, it's no possible. You got your dive gear? Aye. Yeah, so you can use that? It's oil, Kaz. There's nothing to be done. I fucking see that. I knew the risk when I came down here. Fuck. <sighs> Can it lose you as well? Listen, I'm all right, Kaz. I'm... I'm already back on Sky. <laughs> You've never seen water like that, Kaz. Clear. Peaceful. <laughs> you just let go, and... <laughs> everything's fine. Hi. That sounds beautiful. You go one day. Right. No, fuck that. I'm never swimming again <laughs> after this. <laughs> Kaz, you and Finlay, you could do this, all right? I'm sure she wouldn't do something so stupid. Brody, you there? Kaz? What's stupid? Talk to me. <laughs> it's getting higher. All right, I'm here, Brody. I'm not going anywhere. All right, I'm here. Thank you, Carol oh, Pear, for the visa. Brody? Jesus. Brody. So I'm guessing Brody just condemned himself to die. How does this happen? What are we there now, Finley? Doesn't he fucking matter? He's deep and you don't think that matters. He was always gonna die. Boy, of them. Always. You see that? We do fucking about with the lakey and pontoons. And we thought, I won't mail. Watch new our pals turn into monsters. Never once. Never fucking once. Have we tried to do what needed to be done? That's the one thing that always made me mad about boss fights there, Finley, Brian. We are minute. You get so Jesus. close and then all of a sudden, just like that, you're dead. No! Leave me a fucking wing! Come back, you're not thinking straight! That shit! I'm seeing that shit there now! Gotta get the fuck out of here. Stop yeah. running away. We have to find a way out. Come on. Oh, 
Finley! Slowly fucking coming apart, and she's just fucking making us chase after her dumb ass. Now what? Fuck. Oh, Jesus, Finley. <laughs> fucking hell. Guys, I'm here. Finley, I'm here. Uh, guys. Who is it you hear? Ben. Uh, Shouldn't have ran away. Who do I hear? I hear my wife. I just want to get back to her, Finley. To my wings. I hear my boy. When he was wee, you know. I, I, I hear him there. Yeah. Kate. He's singing. We must see him again. There's got to be a ship coming. You, you said it yourself. Christ, God. We don't want them coming. Oh, Jesus! Fuck. I'm sorry, Fred. I don't know what to do. We're going to face it, cuz. What do you mean? Ah! We can't get back. We can't. But I can. What? There's no going to stop with us. Fuck's sake, McCleary. For once in your life. Be brave. Be brave for them. You can't save yourself. But you can save them. Jesus, Finley. You want to leave it a chance? If it gets to the mainland. Oh, you know I'm right. I'm always fucking right. Oh, Christ. <laughs> well, right. my lighter back. Aye, all right. Follow him. Fuck. All right, so we're pretty much Ripley of this oil rig, the lone survivor. Me, do you? No, sorry, love. You know me. You could say that. It's been a long time, though, Kaz. Hold up. Susan Lafferty. Fuck's sake, is that you? The very same. Christ, Kaz, but you look no different. I've still got the nose, eh? 
<laughs> well, it looks like someone did a good job of spreading about your face. <laughs> <laughs> Big man, a drink. Jesus, Cass. Because I really want to be thinking about Roy right now. <laughs> Jesus. He looks after me. He fucking adores you, you know. Well, I am easy to love, Cameron McCreary. Yeah. I'm finding that. Shut it, great Suki Jim. I do, though, Suze. I fucking love you. I love you more than anything in this whole world. Did that fan pop? so bad yourself, all things considered. Marry me. What? I'm serious. Marry me. We'll make beautiful wings. I want to spend my whole life with you. She's perfect. She looks just like you. Thank God for that. <laughs> She's got your eyes, though. <laughs> Dad's eyes. I'm sorry, cuz. I know you'd have wanted him to meet her. Nah, fuck him. Yeah. The bastard wasn't interested in me. Why would he care about her? He loved you in his way, Cass. I'll never leave you, Suze. I'll be at your side forever. And I'm always going to be here for this win. A liar like James. <laughs> That's probably that bitch right there. Wedding photos. So that's what we look like, the dude with the stat with the porn stash. Kids' drawings. Is she naked? <laughs> I saw everything. Kiss the wings for me. Tell them I'll be back for Christmas. I'm sorry, Suze. Okay, so this is the part that I uh, glanced over and saw at work. Hey, Cass. When Crystal was playing. I'm sorry it's been so hard. Just wanted to send you this. To see we'll get through it. I know we will. Just take care out there and bring my beautiful big gallus man back home in one piece, okay? I miss you and I love you. And the girls miss and love you. I'm still raging at Roy, but he's a good man and I know he'll look after you. Whatever happens, we will be all right. We can weather this. I just wanted to say that to you, Kaz. To keep you safe and close and make sure you know to come home to us. I love you, Cameron McCleary. Be safe out there on those waters. My man. My love. All right. So, not sure if there's anything at the end of this. If there, if there isn't, please let me know, uh, Crystal or Brian. That way, I'm not wasting my time. But if not, well, I'll let this go ahead and pass. Oh, you guys should skip that. Okay, fuck it. Assuming that, and then. At least you could fast forward the credits, which is nice.
Sumo Nottingham. That's a lot of credits. Isn't this like, well, I'm not sure if this is considered a big game. Isn't this more like an indie game? Well, I can see how that makes sense, since there's a lot of fucking credits. Well, this is probably like 20 minutes worth of credits that we're just fast-forwarding through. Maybe even 30. Alright, so I guess that is... Still wakes the deep. So overall, not a bad game. I mean, it's got an interesting story. I mean, didn't really care for much how they ended it, even though it does kind of suit, I guess, the game. But it is what it is. So I guess it's one of those things where everybody fucking dies. So there's a no survivor type game. I figured there'd at least be a one sole survivor that could live to tell the tale, but I guess not. So I uh, thank you all for thank you all for watching. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, please like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But other than that, I will see you all in the next one. Take care of yourselves.